Hi guys, Andrew Dale here. We are going to go over Google Operators now. Google Operators are um, a way to extract information out of Google's index that you normally would not be able to get. Um, for instance, I'm going to just jump right into it because they're really not very difficult and there's only a handful that I think are important to look at. Um, for instance, if I wanted to find out how many pages were indexed on a particular website, um, there really wouldn't be a whole lot of different ways to do it. I mean, for instance, let's say I wanted to look at Amazon.com. If I just typed in Amazon.com, you're going to see that I have, wow, like 4 billion search results. Um, that's pretty ridiculous. But you'll notice down here that not all of them are Amazon.com links. They're not all from Amazon.com's uh, Amazon websites, uh, you know, Wikipedia, quotes.wsj.com, um, oh, the New York Times is here. But I only wanted to find pages that were actually indexed, um, that are actually on Amazon.com. So what I will do is I'll just use a little Google operator called the site colon, and it will look something like this, site colon. We're just going to type in Amazon.com. We're going to give that a whirl. And now you're going to see that there are 44 million search results that, um, that Google has indexed that are actually pages on Amazon.com. Now, I know that this might sound a little bit basic, but we're going to bring this a little bit further. Um, you'll actually see that it has some of the subdomains, uh, local, fresh, um, all sorts of interesting stuff here. Um, However, this number here, this 44 million, um, as you continue to search throughout the day, as Google's bouncing around data centers, as it's caching information and it's finding new information, that number will actually change throughout the day. It will change tomorrow. It will be different uh, a week from now. Um, it's different for a lot of different reasons. Um, obviously, it's different because there are always constantly new pages being added to Amazon.com, um, but it also changes because Google um, caches the information. It also will serve you off of different data uh, centers that might not necessarily be up to date. So if you have a website and you've built it out and you do a site colon and you check it multiple times a day, you actually might find that those results will vary a little bit. Um, the only uh, saving grace is that as long as that number is going up, you're fine. I mean, it will go up and it will go down, but as long you're going to find a range where your website belongs. And when you start seeing those numbers dropping off big time, um, that's when you need to start to look into your site to see if you have an issue. All right, so we dis we discussed the, the site colon.com. Now let's bring it a little bit further. Let's say um, I only wanted to find website uh, web pages that were about grills on Amazon.com. They have to be an Amazon.com page. They have to be about grills, so I put this in here, and wow, now we have 7 million search results. Now, this just means that the word grills is somewhere on the page. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean that that page is going to be about grills. I mean, if you look at the search results, it does look, uh, it does look pretty promising here. Um, I didn't realize that there's a toys and games section within grills, but hey, listen, you learn something new every day. Uh, but the George Foreman grill, uh, best camping uh, stove grills, contact grills, uh, natural gas grills. So you'll see. Um, I mean, we can go in here and we can type in, let's see, um, let's just see pages that are about SEO. And now we're, now we're realizing that there's only 66 66,000 pages um, that mention something about SEO, and probably most of them being about books. Um, so, like I said, pretty interesting stuff. Um, but if you're looking for a specific page to see if you've been indexed on Google, you can put in your domain here and then put in some keywords that you know we're going to be on that page, and bam, you can find out if that page was indexed or not. See, a lot of people, they, they start looking for their page on Google and they're going, oh, I'm not, I'm not ranking anywhere. They don't even realize that their page is not indexed yet. And we're going to get into how to index those pages really quickly uh, a little bit later. Uh, let me go into one of the other um, Google operators that I really like. Um, it's the info. So I want to find out some information, let's say, about a particular website. Now, there is no information about this one, christmasfolly.com. It's probably available if anybody wants to go out and buy it. Um, but the reason why there's no information about this is because Google doesn't know anything about that particular website. So um, 
you know, that's good to know if, you, if you're ever going, or, or, or for instance, that could have been a, a website that got de-indexed. So for instance, if you were going out there and looking to buy domains, you're going to definitely want to pull a site colon on the domain. There might not be anything there, or, or you know, at least your homepage should show up. Um, if you do an info colon, something should show up, even if, let's say, it's a GoDaddy, um, you know, sales page or whatever else that shows up there. But if I type in Amazon, it's, it, obviously it's going to show me the main page of Amazon. It's going to show me the description. Um, you know, this is what I'm looking to see. Um, now, this is interesting. I, I had to search around a little tiny bit just to find uh, a website that has a 301 redirect on it. So if you'll notice, I, I put in SwissAmerica.org. All right, I'm going to click on search. But my result is showing the .com, which just basically means that they did a 301 redirect from the .org over to SwissAmerica.com. Um, you can often tell, um, you know, when you go into GoDaddy, if you're doing, uh, if you're going to, going to look to buy some domains from their auctions or whatever else. I like to do the info. Um, I like to make sure that these match up, the .org, the .com, because basically what it means is that this website is being 301 redirected to this one. So uh, this website really right now, um, it, it's not doing a whole lot, and this one is slightly uh, inflated because of the 301 redirect. Now, you know, the, the one thing that you will see is when you go out and you buy some of these domains that there'll be a, a handful of 301 permanent redirects and as soon as you buy the domain, yeah, those 301 redirects get shut off. Um, it's usually to inflate the page rank or, um, or whatnot. So, uh, all right, guys, I mean, listen, this is just a, a real quick overview about what Google operators are. Um, you, can, you can actually Google a little bit further. There are tons of different operators. These are the two that I use on a regular basis. Um, just wanted to get that information out there. And there will be a little quiz below. Um, you can take the quiz just to uh, feel, um, to make sure that you, you have a, a really decent understanding of, of just these two operators and, and why we'd use them and why we wouldn't use them and uh, what information we can find when we're using them.